Hi guys, it's Tracy and I am back. I took a little break, so had some uh, stuff going on. Family was in town and I just didn't have anything pre-filmed. So now I'm back. Took about a week off, I think. So we're good. Mister's here, dogs are here. And we're gonna do an empties video because my basket is almost full. <laughs> so. First of all, on my eyes, I have the e.l.f. Retro Paradise eyeshadow palette on, and I got this um, look idea from Samantha March. She had a video up one day, and she said she only used the two shades, and I was like, oh, it looks really good. So I got that inspo from her, and I just used the shade Tropicana, the light lavender and the shade disco all over my lid and i used an la girl neon eyeliner in my waterline and on my lips i have one of the elf what are these even called sheer slick lipstick and this is in the shade black cherry these have a really nice texture to them i also bought two of their new like lip mask lip treatment that are in the little tubes and those are really nice too so that's what's on my face oh and i actually have a foundation on my face i don't know if you can tell is this even called a foundation it's called a active glow tinted day cream and this is from qms meta cosmetics this is one i picked up in the boxy charm pop-up or add-ons they had this available it's only in one shade so i I didn't choose it as my choice item, but I saw it in the pop-up and it was $12 and they said it was like a $105 product. So I decided to pick it up and give it a shot, but it's it doesn't cover, and I could even show you the shade in case you're curious, because I'm like, they have one shade. Is this like supposed to be for everyone? That's it right there. And then let me, like, blend it in so it doesn't really I, I don't really know what the purpose is it's not like it has it doesn't have a like an SPF in it it's just called the active glow tinted day cream so I don't know if you're supposed to use it underneath something it says it's lightweight sheer coverage Oh, adaptive cream with vitamins, blurs imperfections to reveal visibly glow, glowing even skin. It says it's for all types and tones. So I guess that's, it's supposed to be an adaptive formula. I like it because it was super light, sheer. I don't, you guys know half the time I don't even wear uh, foundation so I wanted to point that out in case any of you guys had seen it and were wondering about it and then um, for my highlighter I have one of the pixie duos the um, glowy gossamer duo this is a one delicate dew and I got another one as well and I found these at Burlington for $5.99 so if you have a Burlington and you wanted to buy these because I didn't want to spend $18 but $5.99 so that's what's on my highlighter. So let's see what kind of goods we have in the basket today. First thing, I used one of these eye patches this morning. These are the Grace and Stella eye masks. Didn't really do much for me. I just used it because I had it. And it, I, that's all I can say. And then here's one of the Grace and Stella face masks that I got like a couple boxes back. And these were in, I got these in this month's box. So I think there's 12 sets of them. But I didn't notice that it did anything for my skin. And then I have an empty of the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are the glycolic acid um, little pads that you can use. And I got this as a choice in one of my boxy charms. And then I did pick up one, I think last time in the add-ons. I bought one for $12. So I do have a backup. And let's see, I have this Bath & Body Works Lavender Marshmallow. This is like a really nice um, scent. I love the scent of this. It was really nice. So um, yeah, Lavender Marshmallow. I don't know if this was like a limited edition kind of thing, but I really like the scent of it. 
I would repurchase that. And then I have also from Bath Even Body Works, this is their Super Smooth Body Lotion 24 Hour Moisture Shea Butter and Coconut. And this was in the scent A Thousand Wishes. And I really like that scent. So I would buy that again, maybe in a bigger bottle. And then I also have from Bath and Body Works the Mad About You scent of that same uh, lotion. I've been trying to find like things that I have half finished that are stuck in purses or that kind of thing. So I've been pulling stuff out of different purses to try and get use and just finish them off. So that's how I ended up with two of those. And then I have a little sample mini of the Clinique Moisture Surge uh, moisturizer. I really like this. has a really nice feel to it. And then I have an empty of the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. I really enjoy this. Um, when I make another order, I will probably order it again. I have one of the Ulta Smart Skin Care Solutions Watermelon Facial Mist. I use this mostly just uh, to spray on my face before I put my hyaluronic acid on. So um, that's, you know, I don't really use it for anything other than to give my face the moisture. And I have this Framisi Color Love. This is a primer 11 intense cream leave-in conditioner. And this is like a professional brand. I get it at Cosmoprof and it's like a leave-in conditioner, similar to the one I like by Matrix, but these were on sale for $5, so I picked up a few. So really nice. It's supposed to do like, you know, retain color, damage repair, silky and shiny, fix frizz, body, mend ends, detangle, style support, non-static, thermal guard, and weightless. So I don't know if it does all that, but I don't think anything does all that. Look at this headband. I feel like it makes my head look big. I just bought it. Tell me what you guys think. I got it at TJ Maxx and I paid 10 bucks for it. So hopefully it's okay. I have a bottle of my Citracal Calcium, real exciting. I finished up this finally. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. It even came apart. I was squeezing it out one day and it came out this end. <laughs> And it's weird because it's inside like a little plastic inside the tube. So I don't know. It was kind of weird. Something that I got like in a boxy charm, I believe. Not anything I would buy because I don't, I really didn't notice any difference in my pores or anything like that. Let's see. I guess I used up three of the Grace and Stella face masks. So we can get rid of that. And then I used this. Avet Daily Fresh Squeeze. This is a face mask and it's all in like Korean, I think. And it was nice. If I saw it, I might buy it again, but I don't know. Then I have a Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. These are really nice. And I would maybe buy it again. I don't know. Then I have the Saturday Skin Glacial Waterfall water cream. I really like this. I like the texture of it because it's more of like a gel and it makes the package look like you get more than you do, but it's like a rounded thing inside. So it kind of stops halfway down, but I got this in a boxy charm and I do like it. I did notice it in the add-ons, but I don't really need any more moisturizers right now, so I didn't get one, but I would for 12 bucks pick it up again if I see it. Then I have another of these new chapter Every Women's One Multivitamin. I have a 5,000 microgram of biotin. I take that every day. Then I have this Neosporin. This is for eczema, a dry moisturizing cream. And then it's like, um, like if you get itchy, I, I cut it open. But yeah, I would use this if my skin starts to itch or something and I can't stop scratching it. I would put this on it and this really calms it down and like helps it to stop itching. So I would definitely buy that again. And then I have this Beverly Hills MD Lift and Firm Sculpting Cream for Face and Neck. It's a nice glass jar. 
and I used it all, but this stuff is like $150 or something crazy. How much does this say? I don't know. My daughter had got it somewhere and she gave it to me and I didn't like the smell of it really wasn't my jam, but it could be like just natural, like the smell. It was, I don't think it was like an added fragrance. I think it was just the scent of all the products together maybe. So, I mean, if I got another one, someone gave me another one, I would use it, but I wouldn't buy it. I, I think it's like a hundred dollars or something expensive like that. And I can't do that. And then I have another like deluxe size sample. This is of the Juice Beauty green apple age defy moisturize moisturizer this was really nice it has a nice kind of appley scent to it so if i saw that for a good deal i know juice beauty is super expensive so i don't think i would spend my coin on that and then i did a wander beauty baggage claim gold eye masks again like i don't see like anything different with my you know my skin when I do stuff like that. What is this? This is from Wella. This is a Perfect Me Lightweight Beauty Balm Lotion for your hair. Um, I tried it out. It was just okay. Not something I would buy. Then I have this Eucalyptus Spearmint Ultra Shea from Bath & Body Works and it's still pretty much full and I think it's gone bad because it didn't smell as good as I remembered. So I think I had that for a little bit too long. So I just decided to get rid of it. Then I have this uh, Derma E. This is their anti-wrinkle vitamin A glycolic scrub. And I really like this. It's got the kind of the bigger pieces to scrub and really get like into your pores. And it has glycolic acid and vitamin A, which I mean, you're washing it off your face. So I don't know how good you know, that can be for it. But I do like, um, you know, it says it exfoliates dull, tired, aging cells. That would be me. <laughs> so I did enjoy that. And then I have this Method and Rebecca Atwood. And this is some kind of a hand wash. It was like the foaming hand wash. I probably picked this up at Target. I think that's where they sell Method. Not even sure. It's been a while. And then I have a Dial complete antibacterial. I actually had to buy this, I think when I had my knee surgery because they told me to buy an antibacterial hand soap to like sanitize the area or to, you know, get any kind of anything off. I think that's what I had that from. So that's, we finally ended up using that up. Then I have this, the Corez, the Guava Body Butter. Got this in like a boxy Lux maybe. I cut it like a few times to get everything out. And this was really nice. I enjoyed the scent of this. I've been using more body lotions now because I've been trying to uh, remind myself when I get out of the shower to like, you know, just put lotion on because I have a lot of it and I don't want it to go bad like the Eucalyptus Spearmint one. So I've been trying to do that. Uh, here is the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice. I really like this. This was from a boxy Lux as well. And I ended up buying another one off of Mercari, I think. So I do have a backup of this. I really do like that. I guess I had two packages of the Wella because you would need two for my hair. And then I have, this was also from a boxy charm. This is a Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampule. I don't know what this was supposed to do, if it did anything, but I used it all. So it's gone. <laughs> I don't know, what is this? Uh, this is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter with Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This is just a daily moisturizer. So it was like a deluxe sample from somewhere used it up quick another vitamin of the calcium uh, the venus uh, olay violet swirl shave gel another toothpaste by colgate two in one i went through what is this the ordinary niacinamide plus five percent zinc i like the um the ordinary one over the good molecules one something about the texture of it and you can get these now this one in a two ounce bottle and i've been getting it 
Um, lately, I've been buying anything that I need, like from Good Mo not Good Molecules, from The Ordinary. I've been ordering it on Sephora if they have it in stock, because if you use the code free ship, you can get free shipping on anything. So that way, I don't have to spend shipping and I can buy like one item if I only want one item. And then I use this Esfolio Moisture Soothing Gel Mist Aloe Vera 90%. Same thing with this, I just used it to kind of wet my face before I put hyaluronic acid on. And we have an ordinary hyaluronic acid. I think the hyaluronic acid comes in a two pack as well. And then I have this little sample of Dermalogica Daily Super Foliant and I really, really like this. This is really nice and it's expensive. Even um, I can pick it up at a beauty supply called salon centric but it's still like expensive it's you know not not cheap at all i picked up the good molecules pineapple enzyme kind of powder it's the same idea powder and then you mix a little water in and put it on your face and i like that one too and i think that's a good alternative for that one degree dry spray this is the sexy intrigue scent <laughs> And then I finished up, this is another BoxyCharm item, the Levito, what was this? Uh, Age Away Replenishing Cream. I finished that up, it was nice. Um, but again, that's like a really expensive brand, so I don't picture myself buying it. Then I finished up this Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Oil Treatment. This was like a super huge bottle of it too. This is two ounces. So it took me a while to get through that. Then I have, this is my most favorite chapstick I've ever had, ever smelled, ever used from them. It's like a totally different formula than anything else that they have. And this was in the scent or the flavor sugar cookie. And I believe it's like a seasonal type of item. So around Christmas time, maybe it'll come back. And if it comes back, I'm gonna buy a few of them because that's like my favorite one. I don't even usually use chapstick. I use the Laneige sleeping mask or the Hemp's um, lip balm. And I'm almost through with the, a full size of the Laneige sleeping mask. I've almost went through a whole one. And they have a new, new scent, new flavor coming out August 4th called Gummy Bear. Like I want that one, so I may buy that. Then I have this, so this is from Australia and it's called Neat 3B Action Cream. And this is supposed to keep you from sweating. And it says you can use it on your breasts, buttocks, or between your legs. So I don't even know why I had this. And it also says it can prevent skin chafing. I had this like under my counter and I was like, wow, okay. So I just started putting it on my legs and it's nice i do have another one in there as well so i'll use it as long as i have it and then i used up a burt's bees um what is this lemon butter cuticle cream there's a little bit left around the edges but i think the oil has gone bad in it because it started smelling weird as well so don't have that probably won't repurchase it i don't know maybe if i see it i will then i have a creme shop raspberry yogurt fusion sheet mask that says two benefits of two masks in one i really like these i picked those up like two for a buck at my discount store and then i have these makeup remover cleansing wipes these are from basic beauty you got i got 40 in this package for a dollar at the 99 cent only store and I bought these a while ago. I haven't been buying any makeup wipes. I'm trying to work through all of the ones that I have because I've been using the um, makeup eraser and then I got a thing that's like the face halo to remove. So I've been trying to use what I have and not buy anymore. And then the last one here is the Band Shower Fresh Invisible Solid. You gotta have deodorant. So those are all of my empties. I'm glad to get rid of the basket and empty it out and start filling it again. A lot of this was skincare because I've been doing a lot of skincare, I guess, or finishing up things that were like half. So at least I'm able to get them out, you know, and not have things that are half full. 
So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you will think about subscribing before you leave. Make sure to click the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And if you are a returning watcher, welcome back. Thank you so much for returning. And if you made it all the way till the end of the video, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.